Are you a content creator looking for effects to bring your videos to a whole new level? Welcome to Production Crate. Production Crate is the resource for graphics, visual effects, music, and much more. On top of that, these assets are compatible with your editing software. Get your unlimited free effects today or premium effects for only $49 a year. Make it awesome. What's poppin' guys? My name is Alex. Welcome back to a brand new video. And in this video, I wanted to tell you guys a few things before the actual video starts. Last video I uploaded was last Monday. So I thought, okay, I'm not gonna let you guys wait another week for a new video. So basically, the reason I haven't been uploading is because I've been working on the new apartment, getting the furniture, doing everything, cleaning the house. So first of all, I wanna show you guys why I cannot upload. So the internet got shut off yesterday in this current workspace. So that that means that I'm just, you know, laying on a different internet connection that's downstairs, that's really slow, and I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I have to deal with. Okay, so right here we're on speeddesk.net, so I'm going to give it a go. Okay, so apparently my internet is too slow that even the ads are working on this uh, website, but the test doesn't. Okay, there it is. All right, so this is basically the speed test. My ping is 377. My download speed is not even two. Well, it barely gets to two. There it is, two and a half, three. That's mm, still pretty, pretty darn low. Then it goes to the upload. So you have to imagine that if I wanted to upload a video that's a gigabyte long, and I have to upload that with like two or three upload, I have to wait hours and hours and hours for the video to upload. So this is basically the result, guys. <laughs> So that means that I'm going to move my entire setup to the new house probably tomorrow or this weekend. I can drop a new video obviously Monday and be back on the grind. I didn't want to let you guys down and not upload. So these are two videos I uploaded recently and I just wanted to, you know, upload this because I wanted you guys to see them because I think these effects are really useful and you guys can use them as well. So guys, make sure to hang tight for new videos and let's get started with the video right after the intro. Turn toward me and look so weak I've never seen you with such tired eyes And everything we said we'd be We just traded for a suit coat and a tie From underneath the rose of trees I will see you where the ocean meets the sky your toes, fire grows. You are ready for a different kind of life. You're sad and bold. The wind is cold. You must return to the wild. Today we're going to recreate the you and I freeze frame effect used in the music video. And of course, I cannot show the original one in terms of copyright issues, but that's just so you guys get an idea what we're trying to recreate in today's video. So what we're going to do first of all is we're going to place our cursor where you want this effect to happen. So what we're going to do is then press M on our keyboard to place the first marker. And then what we need to do is move on our cursor to the second position or how many positions you want to have it. Then we want to press M again to place our second marker. Then we're gonna move up to the third and last position in this case, which is going to be M again. And what we need to do is we need to create a screenshot of every single position. We're gonna head over to this diskette icon above the preview screen. Then we're gonna just call this, for example, S1 from screenshot one. Then what we need to do is go on to the second marker and then also create a, another snapshot. Call this S2 and we're gonna do that also for the 
last one, which is going to be S3. So then what we need to do is drag on these screenshots into the project in a new video track. And then what we need to do is mask out ourselves. So we're going to hit the event pan crop and then we're going to zoom in. Let's see all the way. Then what we're going to do is hit mask at the very bottom. So we need to pick the anchor creation tool and we're going to mask out ourselves just all around. All right, so now that we finished masking, if I play this back, as you can see, you can see us walking at the back. And then once it is going to hit this orange marker, we were going to walk into that shot. And that works exactly the same as you can see right there for the other ones. So we're going to create a new video track and we're going to drag on the S2 screenshot too. And then we're going to also place it in between these markers and then also mask out ourselves right there. Okay, so now that we masked also the second one, if I play it back, okay, now you can see us walking at the very back, and now we're going to walk into this shot right here when it hits the first marker, and then as well, it's going to hit the second marker right here, as you can see like that, and then we're going to move up to the third shot, and we need also going to mask out this one, so hit the event pan crop, just hit mask at the bottom, and then we're going to also do the same, just mask ourselves out completely. All right, so now that we finished masking, Masking out the third one, you want to make sure that you will stretch all these screenshots from where it's starting. So if I play it back, this is the end result. I'm going to add in a filter and some cinematic black bars. So this is the end result. And obviously, you can also go ahead and drag uh, a, another one, for example, when we walk right here as well. Turn toward me and look so weak. I've never seen you with such tired eyes. And everything we said we'd be, we just traded for a suit coat and a tie. This is obviously how you create the awesome you and I freeze frame effect that's used in music video. Guys, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for the continued support. You turn toward me and look so weak. I've never seen you with such tired eyes. And everything we said we'd be, we just traded for a suit coat and a tie. From underneath the rose of trees, I will see you where the ocean meets the sky. Under your toes, the fire grows. You are ready for a different kind of life. What's going on guys my name is alex so welcome back to a brand new video and i'm super excited to bring this video for you guys today so in this video we're going to recreate this effect that's used in the music video from one direction in the you and i music video which is going to be the transition where they're going to make this wipe transition into a different person so if you're excited for this tutorial make sure to smash the like button down below subscribe if you're new and i would say let's get started and also by the way if you want to see how the intro of this video is shot i have a 
behind the scenes video dropping tomorrow so make sure to keep an eye on your sub box when that video drops tomorrow all right so a few points i want to discuss before you actually go out and try to do this so if you want to create this effect the most easy thing is to wear the same clothes. If you pay attention to the One Direction members in the video, they all have wearing the same sweater when they're doing these transitions. And that's not because of fashionable reasons, but that's just because the editor has an easier job on masking each and every person out when they're doing these transitions. So that's what you wanna do. So make sure to just, you know, use, for example, an oversized hoodie that you and your friend can both wear so it's way easier to track. So once that's done, what you want to do is go to the position where you are doing this white transition and then you want to go ahead and keep walking or stand still standing still is actually easier so then what you want to do is stop the motion there then move out of the frame and then place your second character on the exact same spot make him do the transition as well and then mask out your hand and do that frame by frame so when you mask it out and you delete that part you want to also place the second character's transition underneath this video so then you can go ahead and mask it out and do these wiping transitions to the bottom so now we're going to go ahead and mask it out and try to make it look as good as possible the sponsor of this video today is production credit and they have an awesome library of effects transitions backgrounds lower thirds and so much more everyone that is subscribing to the youtube channel of production crate and following and follow them on social media make sure to screenshot me when you subscribe and send it to me on twitter at alex halford and then i'll be following back because i want to see that sub counter of production crate go up big time so like i said make sure to tweet me the screenshot and i'll be following back everyone that is subscribing i want to thank production crate for sponsoring this video you have to understand that you know these music videos with these effects they are filmed with like an $80,000 budget and I don't even have this you guys probably won't have this so you have to use what you have that's what I did as well so that's what we're gonna do is mask out frame by frame it's gonna take a little while the effect is really cool but my effect looks a little bit different because we used a different background because we had to keep moving because we're not on like this pier that they used in the music video because we were just walking on a public road where there are constantly cars passing by we had to move the car so that's why we had a separate background so it looks a little bit different than usual and that's basically why the background looks a little bit different so let's go ahead and move up to the masking i'm just going to speed up the audio because i'm not going to bore you guys with like 20 minutes of raw footage me masking so check this out and see how it's done Okay guys, so now as you can see, this is what the effect looks like. And obviously you can just add in a couple more filters or a black and white one. And that is how to do it guys. This is how to create the One Direction, uh, you and I wiping effect they used in their music video. That's the same list. I wanna thank you guys for watching. Thank you for the continued support. I'll catch you guys tomorrow, obviously in the behind the scenes video, where I'm gonna guide you guys through how it all worked and everything like that. So guys, that's it. And I will see you guys obviously in tomorrow's video.